going on guys welcome back to another episode of king customs and on today's episode we are gonna diagnose why the cigarette lighter is not working on this 2015 toyota sienna coming up what's going on guys it's your boy ryan for those of you guys who don't know me thank you so much for tuning in and make sure you hit that subscribe button and for those of you who do know me thanks again for showing up but um if you guys aren't a subscriber like i said hit the subscribe button as well as hit the like button for this video because it's going to be a sick diagnostics video so let's get right into it alrighty guys so on this 2015 toyota sienna one of the cigarette lighters do not work we're going to check it out real quick plug in a uh, phone charger see if it turns on and the lights up if it doesn't pop the hood we're gonna check the fuses. I think there's a fuse box in the interior as well. Uh, it's a possibility that the fuse is blown. If the fuse is blown, then that will make it an easy diag repair. And if not, well, then we have to trace it a little bit further. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we are right now inside the Sienna. So what we're gonna do is take this um, phone charger. It's supposed to light up and I'm gonna turn my ignition on to see if anything lights up. We have two power outlets here. Um, sorry for the, the lighting. It's inside the van. It's dark. Let me see if I open the door. Um, okay, that's better. Okay, so we have two of them here. We're going to plug it in the first one, see if it turns on, and see how that goes. So, right underneath here, we have one. Plug him in. And let's see if we put the ignition on. He's supposed to light. Okay, so there you go. It's lighting on that one. So now there's a second one, which is right here. We're gonna put it in that one, see if that lights. Okay, so we just found out that this one is the problem. It's not currently lighting up. So let's check the fuse now. Usually whenever you have a electrical problem like this, the first thing you do wanna check is the fuse. You start from the least of your worries and then go into something crazy. Um, so the fuse will be the quickest and easiest thing to check. So let's get into that right now. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to look for the fuse box and most likely anything to do with the interior of the car such as power outlets, cigarette lights, lights itself. Um, there's going to always be a fuse box in the interior most of the time. So this one is going to be directly under the driver's kick panel. So let's go there now. So as you guys can see right over here is the fuse box panel for the kick for the cigarette lighter so we're gonna pull this out and you can read over here where it tells you um, it's gonna say the 7.5 amp one let's see if I can show you this let's see if I can show you this in a better lighting because this is difficult to be under there and film at the same time so right over here we're gonna look at the number 15 um fuse and that is for the power outlet so let's get under there and check it out sometimes you might need a little pliers to give you a hand all righty so now what we have to do is look at this fuse and if you look at it you can see that it is in fact blown i don't know how well i can portray this on the camera for you guys to see this might be a little difficult all right i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but it is separated at the very top it's it's there's a separation from the filament on this fuse and it is cut directly in half it's i don't know if i can if it's going to show correctly but i'm going to put the light on it again look directly on the top you'll see it sliced in the middle if i can get it to Focus. Guys, I don't know. Take my word for it. All right, let me show you. Well, there's no point in showing you what a new one looks like. You're going to see it with your own eye when you're changing fuses yourself. So we bought a bunch of new ones. This one is going to be the little fuse mini fuses because that's what this takes. And it's going to be a 15 amp mini fuse. Um... I don't know if that one's a little more clear. They also sell ones that light up when they blow. So you can probably get those as well. Um, they light up to let you see which uh, fuses are blown, um, which is super easy to detect. But let's put this one back in and check to see if everything works. 
Alrighty guys, so moment of truth. All we have to do is turn the ignition on, put the outlet in, and see if it lights up. And if it does, then it's all working. Let's do that now. So let's plug this in first. Boom. And we grab the key. And there you go guys, it works. It turns on, that is great. There you go guys, so it finally turned on. That was the quickest Diag ever. Um, sometimes it's something so simple as a fuse, so always check your fuses first. There are other ways to check fuses with test lights and so on and so forth. I can show you that in another video, so I will do that. Um, but other than that, that was simple and quick. Don't forget to put your little um, cover back on your fuse box and you are all set to go. So next time you guys have an issue with a cigarette lighter, your OBD2 is not connecting, your lights on the interior is bad. Uh, well, check the light bulbs for that though. That's the quickest thing for us. But um, always go to the fuses. So now you know how to check your fuses. I hope this helped. If it did, make sure to hit the like button in the video below and also leave a comment and let me know if you've learned from this, if you had anything to take away, or if you have any other comments about what you guys do differently and what I did differently. But other than that, if you are not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button on this video and also make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help boost this video up into the algorithm or YouTube's whole network or whatever it is. But uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you all for joining. Peace out.